In a bowl, I'm gonna get in there. In that recipe, it doesn't have the water, and you want uh, not cold water, but about lukewarm water. And then we know you guys should know what these ingredients do when we're making a yeast dough. Remember, a yeast dough is a live dough. So I'm gonna use olive oil. You can use any oil, and I want one ounce, so that's two tablespoons. I like olive oil. You can use that. Then I've got my yeast, one and a half teaspoon. I've got my sugar. Sugar is what yeast likes, so we're going to give it a kick start so it can start feeding right away. I've got one pound of flour here. Put that over, so I'm creating like a barrier. Some people say you don't need to do that. Well, I always do it. And then I'm going to put my salt on top. Mix it as much as I can using a wooden spoon or a spatula making messes everywhere or it could be uh, wet because of the moisture content in the air and then we're going to knead by hand you can do this on a mixer but i like doing it by hand so i can feel the consistency of it and i continue to do it in the bowl and i'm just pulling and turning that bowl if it's a little sticky, I can wet my hands or I can add a little bit of flour. You don't want a stiff dough because if it's too stiff, it's going to be hard to roll out. Pizza dough is an aged dough, meaning right now this dough is very young. No fermentation has happened at all. Once we get fermentation, uh, the dough starts to age and it starts to build flavor. So the dough will double in size. And then I will punch it down and I will turn it, punch, and then I will put it in the refrigerator overnight. So put that rest about two hours on my out, outside the the dough down and I'm just going to turn it and this is helps develop the dough so it's been an hour and I'm punching it down I'll do this one more time and then it will go in the refrigerator back into my container and cover